Good evening, I'm Julie Williams, and right now crews are on scene at a grain bin fire in Jefferson County. Waltonville's Fire Protection District says they got a call for it just before 930 this morning, and they say they had to think quickly when they got there. News 3's Paul Wilcoxon has more for us from Waltonville. I don't remember an incident this big in Waltonville ever. When the Waltonville Fire Protection District received a call of a fire at a grain bin at Gateway FC, they knew they would need more assistance than usual. We're just being overly cautious and again hoping for the best and all these extra firefighters on scene. Uh, again, just to make sure that if we did, if something does go wrong, we have the people here to hopefully uh, mitigate it as quickly as possible and safely as possible. Units from more than a dozen departments were on hand Monday in Waltonville to assist with the fire inside a grain bin. Using uh, thermal imaging cameras, we realized that the fire was deeper than we could reach, so we started uh, uh, calling in mutual aid departments outside of the uh, automatic that comes to us for this type of commercial fire. Waltonville Fire Protection District Assistant Fire Chief Scott Pennington says when his units arrived, there was no fire visible. We did have a fire inside of a 125,000 bushel uh, grain bin with wheat in it. Uh, we're being told it has about 95,000 bushel in it. Pennington says his department knew pretty quickly this wasn't going to be a normal structure fire. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like a normal structure fire where you know we can just go in and knock it down and do overhaul and that sort of thing. It's a lot more methodical and slow, and uh, make sure we have all our, our you know everything lined up. The hope is all the units and mutual aid are a case of preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. Hopefully, the incident is not as big as as it, it, it could possibly become, which we're hoping for that not to happen, but uh, we're prepared for it. If it does. Reporting in Jefferson County with photojournalist Tyler Horn, I'm Paul Wilcoxon, News 3. And officials will be on scene for several more hours this evening. They say they still have the thermo imaging camera so that they can make sure when there's no longer a threat.